you out of space. Oh, <laughs> there you are. I'm Hugo and you are watching MTV and I'm here on the Peak District. I'm stuck in this hole for a long while, but I don't worry because Jerry Moffat, one of the top climbers in the world, is coming coming right after me and he is climbing solo. Hey, close attention. Without ropes. <laughs> And he will be able to help me in the way, so I'm waiting for him. Pay close attention. Incredible! This is Jerry Moffat here. Listen, Jerry, I have some questions to ask you. Now, how does it feel to be a top rock climber? Can you get me some tips? You've got to be really dedicated, you've got to be slightly crazy, and you've got to be just like wanting it every single day. Jerry? Jerry, I have a bit of a trouble here. You just need to be really calm, go with the flow, and if it feels the right Jerry, day, just Jerry. get out there and do it. If only you would help me. What? Jerry, help! ropes it's just you against the rocks and you just feel really light you know like a bird and you just get that great sense of freedom it's the prow the hardest street in the world i don't feel like i am risking my life you know, everything you do is like calculated and, you know, you try and limit the risks. When you're standing at the bottom of the climb, you are really fired up and you've got to, like, control that. I think you'll die if you're reckless, because it is, you know, dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. The climb's about 150 foot high. One of the main things about climbing for me is that it gives me like a, a motivation, and a, you know, an inspiration for life. It's like a really good reason to get out of bed. When you've spent days and days and days practicing a climb and you finally do it, it makes you feel really good. You feel you've overcome this massive obstacle. And, you know, you feel in a way aggressive, you know, you like punch the air and you want to like scream out. The climb is a sport for everyone. And, you know, I feel fortunate that I came across climbing when I was seven years old. And I think a lot of other people could get a lot of enjoyment from it. And if they get half as much pleasure as I've had out of it, it'll be the best thing that had happened to them. Like, you know, my life's been worth something, you know, and I've done something that's going to stand forever, and, you know, I've made, I feel like I've made a mark. One, two, 